Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Short is Better. Today I received another order for modification Steel Dive 1975 Tuna. As you can see it comes with upgraded new class, really cool. And today I've got an order for swapping this dial. Gonna show you the process shortly. And by the way, I have another green dial looks like this the same type of dial really good quality but it's not a standard color and i have no idea where can i use it if you have any ideas for this dial please let me know because i keep it like two years already i don't know where to use it i tried in few modes but it doesn't match so let me know if you have any ideas and let's start swapping the dial today for this tuna First of all, let's remove the bracelet. Next, we're gonna open the case. Use protective plastic. Next, we have to remove the crown. The next step, let's let's remove the hands by aligning them together first of all. Try to apply the pressure from both sides evenly. The new beautiful dial. I'm not sure if you saw this mod in my Instagram. I used to make it before. It is really beautiful, especially with this dial. Just look at it. I think the quality I would compare to original Seiko. It has excellent loom, incredible details. Everything beautiful about this dial. Next, I have to remove the pins from the dial because it doesn't match. I use the nail clippers, very simple. There is almost nothing left. Just like that. Then to make sure it's absolutely smooth, I use this tool just to make it really, really flat. It has absolutely smooth surface, ready to put on the movement. And in this mode, I have to use the dial dots. Don't need to put it too much. Four or five pieces is more than enough. Okay, it's done. And now the most important part, I have to place the new dial very, very carefully on the movement. So make sure, make sure that the, the source of the light is from the side, from this side. Otherwise the shadow will fall, if the shadow falls from the front, it's really hard to, to align it looks really good right in the center great so right now i can put the hands i'm not gonna go into details now let's make this video short i just want you to see the result
and the last evil second hand which is actually is not that scary This is my first attempt and you can see that you can see that uh, if you have the correct technique then it's actually easy to do. I was struggling before with this hand too but right now I have no idea why I was struggling with it because it's really easy. Okay, it's done, and now let's put it back to the case. Before you close the case, make sure there is no dust. Take your time, check carefully. Next, I'll make sure that this gasket still keeps waterproof qualities. Finally, let's close the case. And this is my favorite part about this dial, that it has incredible loom. I think better than even original steel dial. Very, very bright and lasts really long. And uh, for those who will ask for the link of this dial, I cannot leave you the link because where I bought it on AliExpress, it is already sold and they have only green or red dials. So it won't be in stock anyway. Unfortunately, I'm also waiting for the new dials. That's how it looks like in the sun. You can see these barrel effects on the dial, different colors. It is really amazing dial. 
looks really really good. 47.5 millimeters case diameter, Seiko NH 35 movement, sapphire glass, ceramic bezel, um, thickness is uh, 15 millimeters I think, and waterproof 300 meters. Thank you for watching and see you in my future videos.